Here we have a 72 plate BMW 330e X Drive M Sport. Now, this vehicle comes with the mineral white exterior paintwork. We also have the 19 inch gloss black alloy wheels in excellent condition and with the red M Sport brake calipers just behind. We have the LED headlights, the gloss black front splitter, and the front grills. We do also have over £11,000 worth of optional extras, all listed on the website. Mention a few though, we do have the panoramic glass sunroof, we also have the M Sport Pro package, the visibility package, the comfort plus package, and also the technology package. We've got the side skirts along the bottom, colour coded door handles and door mirrors, we have the black trim around the windows, and the privacy glass for the rear passengers. We also have front and rear parking sensors with a rev reversing camera. We've got the power operated tailgate, dual exit exhaust at the back with the rear diffuser. And then walking back round to the driver's side now, you find that this vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. If you take a look then at the interior, so inside of the back, you'll find we have the half leather interior, we have the foldable armrest in the centre, the fixed ISO points for the M Sport style seat belts, climate control in the centre for the rear passengers, electric windows on the doors along with the premium Harman Kardon sound system. There's a look at the sunroof from the interior. Both these front seats are electrically adjustable and they're also both heated as well. Got the memory function on the driver's side. Premium Harman Kardon sound system, electric power forward mirrors and electric windows with child lock for the rear. Automatic lights, automatic wipers. We have the multifunctional steering wheel, which is also heated. Digital dashboard in front of us. Now if you put our foot on the brake, press the start button, the vehicle will turn on. We've got the cruise control and speed limiter on the left hand side. High beam assist just there on that stalk. We also have the button just there for the heated steering wheel, so if we press that, then it can see the heated steering wheel activates just like so. We are also free from any warning lights on the dashboard. We've got the heads up display just up here. Plenty of displays and features on the dashboard and also the heads up display that you've seen on the photos. We've got the main inf infotainment screen just here in the center. Very large screen, which is touch screen. We also have the shortcuts down here. So it's currently showing the sat nav. Click onto the media and you find the radio stations just there. We also have the different sources as well, such as the Spotify and the Bluetooth mobile audio. We've got the Bluetooth phone connectivity for making phone calls. Going on to the main menu, you can find we have all these apps that are currently installed on the vehicle. We have the Android Auto on the Apple CarPlay, Spotify, phone connectivity. Scrolling further down, you can see all these other options as well. So we do have the interior ambient lighting, plenty of colours to go through as you can see just here. Looks really nice, especially at night time. Going back again, we can scroll through even further features and apps all the way down here as you can see. We also have the different drive modes, we have the electric drive mode, we also have the hybrid drive mode where you have the Eco Pro or just the standard hy hybrid. We also have the sport drive mode where you can find the extra boost, we have the individual and also the standard sport drive mode just there. We've got the climate menu as well just here, the heated seats on either side, we also have the ice cold air conditioning as well as you can see just there. We've got the vents down here, we also have the heated windscreen, heated rear windscreen sorry. Cup holders just here with the phone, wireless phone charging can be closed like so. Shortcuts again for the screen, we also have the automatic gearbox, if you put it into reverse you find the reversing camera appear on the screen. Put it into park just by pressing this button, You've got the drive mode just there, electric handbrake and the auto hold button. But that's all I'm going to show you guys today though, if you'd like to find out more please check out the website. This vehicle comes with a fresh service, fresh MOT and free nationwide next to delivery. Thank you for watching. Video test drive of this BMW 330e X-Drive M Sport. Now the purpose of this video test drive is to show the vehicle that drives as you expect it to. Now we do have the multifunctional steering wheel which has the paddle shifters either side if you want to stick it into manual mode, tap one of the paddles and it will change gear. The steering wheel is also heated, we've got the button just down here in the centre to turn it on. We've got the cruise control and the spinimeter button on the left hand side, volume buttons on the right. Digital dashboard in front of us, which can show with different displays that you would have seen on the photos and also on the walk around video. We've got the heads up display just above there, it's currently showing the speed limit and also the digital speedo. Now if you do listen carefully as well throughout this video test drive, you'll also notice we'll be free from any unwanted knocks or bangs. 
Now we also have the half leather interior throughout this vehicle combined with the loose stitching. Really makes the interior a nice place to be along with the ambient lighting. Very comfortable seats, easy to do two, three or even 400 miles in this vehicle and still get out feeling fresh with both front seats being heated, perfect for the cold winter mornings. Now there's plenty of features on this vehicle, got the sat nav on the screen, we also have the panoramic glass sunroof, automatic gearbox with all the different drive modes. Now about to take a right hand turn, so put a right indicator on, start to slow down and wait for the traffic to pass before making the right hand turn, just in a moment, onto the industrial park and I'll perform an emergency stop now in 3, 2 and 1. Hard onto the brakes, put the car into reverse, reversing camera appears on the screen, put it back into a drive with no issues whatsoever. And if this video hasn't answered all your questions, then please will then please feel free to get in contact with our sales team where they can answer all and answer questions along with one of the first requires of you. That's all for me today though. Cheers.